size doesn't matter. Like, I can work with anything. Like, honestly. Stop it. Stop it. I can I make a pillow listen. work if I... Did she just say that? Guys, 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 welcome back to the underground. Now today we are going to be reacting to one of our own favorite train wrecks. That is right, Miss Foodie Booty herself. She, of course, is back on a roll as we all talked about in the last video with another mukbang in a fiction story time for us all. But we must add in that in the last video I had talked about Chantel, Chantel in her community post and she blessed us with another post that we're gonna go ahead and show right now. I feel free, I feel empowered. I'm not saying being fat is healthy. People of all sizes have health issues. I'm saying that I am a fat girl and I'm okay with that. Maybe I will lose weight, maybe I won't. Either way, it's my life and I'm going to embrace it instead of trying so hard to live a life I am not ready for. XO, isn't that just a lovely picture of Miss Piggy? My real question here, people, is what did Miss Piggy do to deserve this? Why is Chantel comparing herself to the lovely, lovely Miss Piggy? Now, I'm a huge fan of Miss Piggy, have been for some times, ever since I was like, five or six I was real big into the Muppet Babies the Muppet Babies Miss Piggy yeah you see her now what did what did what did Miss Piggy ever do to deserve to be compared to Chantel is my question Chantel please stop comparing yourself to a legend like Miss Piggy because the two of you do not compare in any ways Miss Piggy like I said is a hot legend you are a hot mess with that being said, y'all, let's get into the video. All right, now our very own Donut Girl has titled this video Milano's Pizza and Fried Cheese Curds Mukbangs. Wow. Sounds like a winner, y'all. Oh, Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Wow, look at this meal. I have some. Can we say that she at least seems a lot more happier now that she's back to what she does best? You know, when you're talented, when your talents run so low as to just being able to put food in your mouth and, and that makes you happy, then I say let the girl live her life, man. If that's what makes her happy, let her live her life. If she wants to prepare for surgery in this way, who are we to judge? Who are we to judge, people? Decorative peppers. I'm working on it. The lighting is still not perfect. I'm going to have to pull out my other lighting. I have the fan on low in the background. Don't forget, we're all on Roach Watch. Because it's a hot day. I have a microphone attached to Harry Bush. Harry Bush is a plant, fake plant. Just so you guys know. Because <laughs> one time someone commented, they're like, is she talking about her Harry Bush? I'm like, no. Look at that cup over there. Look at that cup and, and those big old ice cubes that she's going to probably put a Coke in. Look how huge that is. Holy hell. Well, I'm not. <laughs> so, I might look hot and flustered. Damn, her gray hair. Damn. <laughs> Can't help but to point it out, y'all. Because I was trying to get everything right, but I'm like working crazy. on it. So, Diet Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi and I drink bad. Diet Pepsi because I don't like really sugary drinks on it really how how long are we into this video 53 seconds in and you've already told a lie what shame chantelle shame so yeah so what we have is um milano so this is a small pizza um i think it's it might be the windsor pizza i don't know it has like bacon sausage pepperoni and these are shishito peppers and these are deep fried cheese curds and they give you gravy so i'm excited what? to try those who what is it with the gravy in canada y'all like i don't get it like the only thing over here in america like we put gravy thanksgiving on turkey mashed potatoes uh we have sausage gravy and biscuits uh i i don't really know of anything Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just am not a big gravy person. But why in the world are you dipping those what looks like tater tots in the gravy? 
You drinking that gravy afterwards? You said you were a gravy drinker. Could you do that on camera, please? Um, this is ranch dip. Everything smells amazing. So... You gonna have a little pizza with that there, Ranch Chantel? You got four freaking containers, dude. Yes. And I just want to put a couple disclaimers, not disclaimers, but just prefatory matters, um, basically, before I start eating and start my story time. Um, so two things. One, I'm not going to talk about surgery prep or anything like that. I will still document my surgery. Oh, is that because you're not having the surgery? Is it because the surgery is not going to happen? At this point, I have to say, I'm going to put my vote in now. Locked and loaded. Ding, 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 ding. She's not having surgery. I could be wrong, though. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be fine. I'm going for four hours of testing on Tuesday. Well, okay. Of all things, Chantel, you could talk about right now because there are other women out there who are probably going through the same thing. Why would you not talk about that? Why would you not talk about, you know what goes into that, how you're preparing for that, um, the, the way you feel about it and not put that out there to, you know, connect with your audience and other people who are going through that. Why well, just push that to the side? Nah, nah, just having a little hysterectomy. No big deal here. I don't need to share that on. That's what YouTube is about. Sharing those kind of things, connecting with people going through the same thing. You might be able to make somebody feel at ease because they're going through it too. And you're sharing your what you're doing with your surgery and and they can share in the comments and connect with other people that's what youtube is about you're in a position my point is is that you're in a position to reach people to help people to make them feel better maybe about what they're going through and it, you're like nah i'm just gonna do this instead drink me some gravy if it's not safe they're not gonna do it um another thing is oh she said if it's not safe they're not gonna do it oh Seems like a hint to me, y'all. My last story, a lot of people were like, this is fake, this is baloney. And Did she watch my video? Did she, is this not proof that Chantel, Chantel stop, Chantel stop bullying me. Stop talking to me, Chantel. Stop bullying me and stop talking to me, Chantel. Knock it off. You know, I sat there and said that was my whole thing with that video was about that fake ass story time and how your story times are fake. You watching me saying you don't watch you watch you watch dude not only do you watch you're subscribed and every time my notification goes off you're one of the first people to run over there and give me 20 thumbs down i'm sure there's people who are gonna say that but that's okay so the my point of my stories is to entertain you guys now i i'm trying to recollect from times where it's just like a long time ago so a lot of details might not be accurate for those of you who are picking up the details <laughs> The Chantel realize that we are we are entertained by these stories, but we're not laughing with her. We're laughing at her. That's the thing here. We're not we're not laughing with you, girl. We're laughing at you because you're ridiculous. My last story with Jessica, where I was the fat friend, Jessica. I Poor Jessica. it was a different time era. So, yes, I was of age at that party. I've been to a lot of parties. Some underage. This was an un of age party, so it did happen. It's popular Chantel, and I did have a friend, Jessica. That wasn't her real name, but. Um, I didn't really explain about her life and, no, you know, and I just didn't want to go into it, but she was very delinquent, like, and she would hitchhike a lot to different places, to bigger cities. And she was always out gallivanting. She would, she, you know, sometimes she was on the streets and she, you know, she didn't come from a very good home. And I do feel bad for her about that. Damn, she doubled down on old Jessica, did she? She didn't even, she just went in and told more about her life. Like the nerve of you, Chantel, still talking about other people in their unfortunate situations, which I still don't think is true because if the girl is pregnant and on the streets, I would imagine like over here in the United States of America, there's plenty of programs that will help single mothers who have children or are expecting. I don't know that she would just be out on the street bumming money as you uh, like to portray she was doing. Not bitter, um, you know, like I'm not jealous or bitter or anything like that. I feel really bad for her and I did help her out when I saw her. Well, you made it so you can't be jealous and bitter of her. You made her a, a pregnant on the streets bumming money. So then you have nothing to be jealous and bitter of. We see, we see what you did there. And I wish her well, you know. Do you? Um, How do you think I she hope she's feel, a How do you think Jessica would feel knowing she made a cameo and uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, pie 
Minaj video here. How do you think she feel about that? Knowing that she was just, if it was true, if this story was true, how do you think that Jessica would feel about that? I'd be pretty pissed. Somebody got out here eating stuff in her big old fat face talking about me being homeless. I'd be mad as hell. Hey, like I do think about it. I do have dreams about it sometimes about former friends and mm -hmm. I hope they're okay. And you know, so we'll pray for them. Prayers for Chantel's former friends because they all seem to be bums but her. But she what didn't come, she, I said she was beautiful. I didn't say she had a wholesome background, you know? So just explaining that a bit. So now. Just because you beautiful don't mean that you got the background I got. I got it great. Mom and grandma, they give me all the money that I could ever need and want. Suck it, Jessica. Let's get to eating. <laughs> I'm like looking at this food and I'm like, let's eat. <laughs> so, all right, so let's try a I cheese curd are. for you guys. Yum, and, and they're gravy. gravy. I don't get it. Beanie bite. Beanie bite. Beanie bite. Beanie bite. Like, you do that in every video now. Like, what is it? I can't even. I can't even. I'm sure I've made those faces, but it was not during um, eating food. But we'll, we'll continue. Mm. Oh my goodness. These are good. Alright. So today's story time is TMI. <laughs> Let's hear the fiction. Let's hear it. Let's hear what she came up with. Bye -bye. Mm. Who puts ranch on pizza like that? When I first moved away to go to university, I had a guy friend. When she in his university for like a few months, I mean, n nice thumbnail, nice thumbnail, y'all. It's I, I get the, I always get the good ones, you know. Wasn't she only in the university like a couple of months and she's got all these stories about all these guys and things that she met, but she went in there in no time, I thought. I could have swore I read that somewhere. I could be mistaken, though. She's been trying to get hook up with me forever. You're telling me that you had a male admirer that was trying to hook up with you forever. And he was... But you didn't, but you didn't, uh, you didn't let him hit, did you, Chantel? Did you make him wait? Did you make him beg for it, Chantel? You know your worth, don't you, Chantel? Living in the city, I was moving to go to university to Ottawa. <laughs> um, he was excited. He's like, we better hang out, blah, blah, blah. And I really liked him as a friend. And but that's, I didn't have any feelings beyond that. It just never happened. Um, I met him. He was from my hometown. I met him in a bar. Sure did. Yeah, we worked together at like a crappy summer job together too. <laughs> so that's the story on that. But he was excited I was moving up. It would be great, you know what, Chantel, to go along with these story times if you could provide because, you know, I'm sure you have pictures of some sorts of all these men, you know, because if you had guy friends, I'm sure you were posing and taking pictures like everybody else with their friends. Even back in the day, we had those Polaroid cameras. Can we see, can we just see some receipts, please? I mean, please. So, I don't know, like, I was single, so... And we had a fun time hanging out. And there was some sexual chemistry there. Oh, boy. Honestly, I think what it was... The girl has no ...was shame. the fact that he always made fun of his own manhood. <sighs> what? Let's try one of these. I think they're hot. Come again, please. Well, that kind of makes more sense. So you had a guy with a little thing that was trying to hook up with you. I mean, yeah, I, I could see that. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. They're spicy. Those would be good stuffed, like stuffed shishito peppers instead of jalapeno. I might do that. Okay. So 
Man, these are good. He was very self-deprecating when it came to, like, his, well, his junk, you know? He would always be like, well, he would always try it, like, very, you know, adamantly, like, hit on me and try to get with me. But then he would be like, I don't know if you'd like it anyway, you know, like, I'm very small. God. Really? Really? Really, Chantel? Really? Is that really what... Why is it every time you get on here with your story times, you got to talk bad about other people? Why do you got it? Why would you even... I don't get it. Okay, let's just... Let's let her finish. I guess he just felt like he could be really open with me because, like, if you're trying to get with a girl, you don't want to, you know... And I'm going to say right now, for me size doesn't matter like I can work with anything like honestly stop it stop it I can I make can a pillow listen. work if I did you just say that did you just say you can make a pillow work oh my god you know what oh you know I've heard of couch humpers and um I've seen some questionable things with people with dogs and peanut butter but I think pillow humper on YouTube uh, might be new for me. Wow. So you're humping. So Kiki ain't giving it to you. You're getting it from the pillow. Oh, fuck, man. I gotta find, I gotta, I gotta find my new, I gotta find a new niche in YouTube, y'all. This ain't it. This ain't it, y'all. If I really need it to, so, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Like, it doesn't. So anyway, so I move up, get settled in, go to his place to hang out, and he's a bachelor. So he lives in a small one bedroom by himself or whatever. Okay, Breaks out a bottle of vodka. We both take shots, had way too many shots. Start feeling, you know, Don't my inhibitions were lowered. <laughs> Don't even say it. So, you know, he started, he's like, I really like you. And, you know, and I thought, I guess I just kind of was like, okay, you know, at that point, I was feeling good. I was feeling into it, basically. Basically. The w were you into him the way you're into this pizza, Chantel? That's the real question. Did you feel the same way about the small penis guys you did about this cheese curds, gravy, and uh, pizza with pepperoni and bacon, Chantel? <laughs> So far, the green light was on. I don't want this visual in my head, y'all. I don't need this. I don't need this in my life, y'all. I don't need it, man. Ah. All right, look, look. This is gonna. This is probably. I'm gonna get some shit for it, but I was thinking about this the other day. Like I used to be. Don't judge me. I used to be a big ICP, Insane Clown Posse fan back in the day. I still get down with their older stuff. There's a song. I want y'all to go, if y'all, there's a song I want y'all to go look up and listen to. She had a piece of chicken, gets it stuck to her chin. Then get back with me. It's called, it reminds me of Chantel. The name of the song is called Fat Sweaty Betty. And every time I, that song, like right now, every, I know that song front to back because we used to play it all the time. It's hilarious. And it just reminds me of Chantel. I know it's, those of y'all are probably like, what the fuck? We're trying to hear this reaction. Go listen to the song and then come back and let me know what you think about the song. Okay. All right. Anyways, continue with um, your uh, horror story, Chantel, please. My cl clicky jaw is fierce today. <laughs> Reading those comments, ain't you, Chantel? 
I don't know if it's TMJ. I've never been... I don't know. I should probably see a doctor about it, but I did a long time ago, and they said they it would they would have to, like, do surgery to fix it. Get in line, surgery. Get in line. So... So everything was going well mm -hmm. until we got to his bedroom. That's when the <laughs> green light went from yellow to red very fast. I don't know what it is, but I have such I've had such bad experiences with bachelor rooms. And the smell. Like if dudes, if you're single, you're a bachelor. Invest in a bottle of Febreze. I'm sorry. I've never been into anyone's bedroom that smelt bad. Like, maybe you should up your standards there, Chantel. That's probably, that says more about you than it does about him. Because if his bedroom smelt bad, more than likely, he smelled bad. No, nobody, no girl is going to get turned on going into your room when it smells like bedhead and funyuns. <laughs> like, what do you, how do you think? men feel about picking dingleberries out of your ass Chantel you didn't have a problem with that though did you it's not gonna happen but I was kind of used to it at this point so used to it at this point so I was like I forgot she sleeps with the homeless I digress oh whatever <laughs> but I was you know it was the yellow light at that point <laughs> So then, yellow light, green light, pink light, blue light, red light. I don't know. He was just really like he hadn't had any in like forever or something because he was hurriedly taking his pants off. He had tie dye boxers, number one. So yellow lights turning to amber, <laughs> amber light. Same thing, I guess. And he's like. Lays down on the bed, splayed out like this. And all I see is no joke. <laughs> and fine, whatever. Like I said, doesn't matter. I get on the bed and I look at his face. And this is. I can't do arousal faces like his was like what what is an a what is an arousal face like uh that's not the kind of face i know i don't know what an arousal face is like you're the way you talk tells me that you don't even know a whole lot about sex Chantel. i don't think you're very um experienced in that category if i'm being completely honest i've never heard of an arousal face part of a climax face but not no arousal face uh, but continue he looked like a bullfrog high on ether i'm not joking and that, you know even that i was i could ignore it's when things started getting weird, you know. This whole conversation is weird. The fact that you, who doesn't seem to be very experienced at all, who's made up all these stories about being experienced, is what's weird. I'm having a real hard time even listening to this. Because anybody who's caught up in the moment, you're, you're not taking details like this girl is right here. This is... Go, whatever. He was like, make fun of it. Make fun of it. Tell me how small it is. Make fun of it. And I'm thinking, no. I'm not going to make fun of it to your face. I'm going to call my best friend later and make fun of it, but not now. Come on guys, don't pretend women 
that you haven't, if your dude sends you a pic, like you haven't sent it to your friend to laugh at it. Oh my god, it has, it's curving to the side, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Chantel, again, uh, you seem very unexperienced, uh, no. Uh, normally if it's somebody that I'm going to mess with, I'm not going to go sending, um, their picture around to other people, but, um, that's just me. You sound like some giddy, uh, virgin who's never seen one and showing your girlfriend and then laughing at it. That's not what, uh, experienced even teenagers do at that point. I mean, yeah, maybe if you're like 17, 16 or something, but you're talking about in college. No, at that time I was not sending any pictures around and laughing. That's my property. Uh, you ain't gonna see that girl. <laughs> kind of mean, I know. Anyway. The nerve of her to laugh at anybody. How would you like if somebody sent a nude around of you, Chantel? What do you think the reaction would be to that all sprawled out on the bed? So... Saved by the notification bell. A notification went off. It was probably an email coupon or something. Notification, huh? Notification, huh? How long ago was this, Chantel? When notifications are, what, somewhat new within the last uh, 10 years or so. So how old were you when you went to college and a notification went off and, and saved your day? And I treated it like an emergency. Oh, did you? Your notification, you treated it like an emergency? It's like, I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> So I bolted, and he's like, oh, come on. <laughs> I just left him out there, you know, in the, the, the bull, bullfrog face. Oh, his arousal face, y'all. Yeah, don't, his, maybe, maybe I'm not experienced enough, because I've never heard of that term at all. Damn, that gravy's gone. Holy hell. And, uh. I mean, that's why I'm vanilla when it comes to, you know, because <laughs> before you know it, what things get out say? of hand and you end up bent over, ball gagged and looking for safe words. Like, I would bet my life you've never been any of those things. I could guarantee it. Lucky, maybe lucky that you've been bent over. That's about that's about the height of your uh, experience, I'm going to say. Just no. No. <laughs> Chantel has portrayed herself on YouTube as a desirable woman um, that's had many, many, many experiences. She's hinting around now that she's been uh, tied up, bent over, safe words. Yeah, I'm not buying it. Uh, if it wasn't for... Uh, Pete's and the one needing a green card, I would say that's probably, in my opinion, that's probably Chantel's only experience. And that those were probably far and few between that they actually have had, uh, on any, you know, that they've, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying here, people. You know, without me saying it, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. <sighs> This is where she gets her pleasure from. This right here. She don't need, she don't want to be bent over, tied up on anybody's bed. This is what, this is her lust right here. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually like, ooh, man. She looks like she's about to die from all this food she done ate. She looks really, really full, but I bet she's going to push through. This pizza is thick as hell. I think my app, I'm on an appetite suppressant. <laughs> Really? And it actually works because I would used to be able to I would be able to devour a medium. So anyway, I'm gonna put this away. Oh wow, I can't believe it. 
and save some. For the next hour, probably. But Milano pizza is really good. I don't know if you guys have that in the U.S., but we have it here <laughs> in Canada. So anyways, guys, I am full. So I'm going to get off here, edit this video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I'm not going to make fun of it to your face. I'm going to call my best friend later and make fun of it, but not now. <laughs> but yet, she's so against people bullying people, but look what she says in her videos. She laughs and, you know, basically bullies people. Bullshit. Shant Chantel is not the sexual goddess that she wants us all to believe she is. This is, like I said, I believe she's probably had two partners, and there's nothing wrong with that. They're Kiki and Petey Boy, um, and that's probably about it. But I don't know. Maybe she is telling the truth, y'all. We, we continue to see if she's going to go to surgery, if she's actually going to have this surgery, y'all. I don't see it happening. But other than that, I guess that's it for today, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.